Risky Behavior. Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to Risky Behavior. I'm your host, Smelly, and I am back with another Kendra G Singles Live reaction. And uh, I usually start off with a question for today. I really don't know what happens in this video because I haven't watched it yet. I just know it's called Divorce Mom of Three um, admits that her husband was a good man. And I guess now she's looking for uh, another guy, someone who is loyal and not out there in them streets. And that is what the title says. And so um, I was just thinking to myself, I said, I wonder what happened. Like, why would somebody leave somebody that they say is a good a good man or a good husband, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, I won't be too long with it. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. Hello. Hello. Hey, baby, you been here before? I didn't hear you. Have you been I here before? Have not. This okay. Is my first. What's your name, baby? My name is Laura. Laura, wipe your screen for me. Is it that? It's like I'm, I think it's a little foggy. Hold on one, one second. Here I go. That's better. Okay, that's better. All right, Laura, where you call me from, baby? Detroit. Detroit. How old are you? I am. 30. 37. 37. What do you do for a living? I, I am a, a patient care tech at a hospital. Patient care tech. Laura, Detroit, 37. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Taurus. Taurus, you have any kids? I do. I have three children. Okay, I love your three kids. Um, 12, 11, and 7. Okay. okay. All about the same man? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been married? I was married with my husband. Those are the children. Okay. When did you get divorced? Um, we separated like five years ago, but the divorce was finalized three years ago. Okay. Got you. So we got Laura Detroit, 37, Taurus, a patient care tech, mom to three kids by her ex-husband. Um, I think I have it all. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for somebody who is loyal. Um, that's my biggest thing. Loyalty means everything to me. I feel like everything else can kind of fall in place once you have that that loyalty factor. Um, okay. I don't like men that's like out in the street because I don't hang out in the street. You know, I'm kind of boring. I go to work, I go home. <laughs> that's really what I do. Um, if I go out, I'm usually, you know, with my partner, so. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Uh, deal breakers is uh, having a lot of kids by a lot of different women. Uh, that's the What's biggest a lot deal of kids breaker. Kids to you, four, five, five kids, and you got four or five baby mamas. You were never in real relationships with them. You just kind of out there just laying seeds everywhere. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Um, so could he have four kids by the same woman? If there was. Yeah, if, if there was history, he had, you know, something with her, he was trying to build with her, it didn't work out, then yeah, sure. Okay. Um, what about looks? Did he look a certain way? Um, I do like tall people, but I'm only five foot, so tall is like, <laughs> you don't have to be like six, six, five for me, you know, tall is, you can be five, what, five, six, five, seven and over. Okay, fair enough. Shout out to the five, like six men. Five, six men, five, seven men. You got one right here. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I'm a midget. <laughs> yeah, five feet is sure. Um, did he make a certain amount of money? Um, As long as you have the basics, you can. You have a roof over your head, you driving your car, you going to work. I don't really, you know. Okay. I'm not really looking for a sponsor. I'm looking for a partner, so I feel like if I can put what I have or what you have, that's automatically gonna double what we have anyway. You know. Okay. I don't know. I I like everything she's saying so far. Seem seem nice. Um. Uh, uh, so far, I'm I'm, I'm liking. We are gonna see how the how the video go. I try not to um get my hopes up too much because sometimes the videos can make. <laughs> They could just go, psh, you know, go down the wrong wrong path at any time. But so far, seemed like a great woman. Seemed like she got a good head on the shoulders. What up, Godfrey? We haven't seen Godfrey in a minute. Um, okay. 
So let's do the Kendra cam. Let's see this five feet. Okay, I got on the road. But let's see. Let's see me. I got on the road. Okay. Can you see my whole body? You're trying to see your full body. You can't see my full body. You can't see your legs. All right. Here, we're going to put it somewhere lower. I'm in a bathroom trying to do a Kendra jam. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's not gonna pitch off the wall. <laughs> Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, within that relationship. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Three flaws I have to work on. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to go off of what my ex said. <laughs> okay. what is that? He said, um, I need to work on listening because I, I like to talk and it's not intentional. I just be trying to get my point across and then I shut up, but I don't always listen. Um, like they want me to. So I need definitely need to work on listening. It's like I hear you, but I tend to cut people off sometimes. So I'm working on that. Um, the other thing would be being too closed off. Um, I am kind of guarded sometimes. Like I don't treat people differently, but I do kind of guard my heart. I got to see what's going on first before I move. You know what I'm saying? I got it got to be secure ground. I'm stepping on. So that's a big thing. Um, Another thing is I can be spoiled sometimes. Like, I can be whiny sometimes. So these are all the things your ex told you. I mean, they're true. They're valid. And I, I, I can't even argue with it. I recognize it, and it's not the first time somebody told me that. Listen, you know, I so. love that you were able to answer your flaws. And, you know, and that's even, that's, I mean, I wonder if that should be the, be the caveat to the three flaws question. What did your last relationship, what did the last guy or girl tell you that you need to work on to become a better partner? That would be a way better um, way for Kendra to ask that question. Three flaws like that your ex told you. That's perfect. I like that. Yeah. You gave me a new idea. I'm, okay. Either I'm way. Transparent. I'm, I'm honest now. I, I can't, you can't look at somebody else and, and talk about somebody else without recognizing, you know, things that you need to work on yourself. That's got to be real with yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you want to get married again? Um, I'm not completely sold on it, but I'm not completely closed on it. If it's, if it's right, then sure. I'll be open to it. Let me ask you this. Why did you get a divorce? Um, I got a divorce. Honestly, it was my fault. I'm not even gonna hold you up. It was my fault. And I took accountability for it. And God whooped my ass. Karma whooped my ass for it for a couple years. And I ate it. I want to share with you. Um, do you want to share what you did? I mean, I, I, I just, he was a good man. Anybody who's ever met that man will tell you he's a good man. He come home, he go to work, he come home. He was good. He just, it was things that I wanted, and I tried to communicate those things to him over and over again, almost a year. And I just felt like he wasn't trying to meet those expectations, and I left him. And I said that I was wrong, not because of me leaving him, but the way that I left him was very hurtful to him. So I had to apologize with, through him hating me, you know, to get that back because I had a life with him. I have kids with him. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I did them both. So I took accountability for that. But it was my mm. fault. I think everybody, re we don't hear it often. So whenever we see someone willing to take accountability on both ends, men and women. That sound like that whole 80-20 that they be talking about like she left the 80 
for the 20. And I, I know somebody that has done that before. They left the 80 for a 20. And they um they was still unhappy. It didn't fix anything and stuff. Hmm. How much longer is this? I wonder if she going to give us a little bit more details. Because I'm interested. Very interested. And why she left this great man. She she said she gave us like a little safe answer and stuff. It was things she wanted. I wonder what. Um, because the people I've known that have been through this. What it sounds like to me is. That person is a little boring and you just want a little bit more excitement in your life. It's things you want. He's kind of just, you know, he might not have been an exciting guy. He was a good guy, maybe not an exciting guy. He goes to work. He comes home. He's not going to do too much. But a guy like that, you can trust him. A guy like that, most likely he's, he's loyal. He's honest. He's not doing too much. It's refreshing. So, you know, I think that's amazing that you are woman, woman enough to admit that you did some things that ended your marriage and you've learned better for it. For sure. Okay. Fair enough. Laura, did I ask you why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I, I am very loyal, sometimes to a fault. If, if we are together, there is no mountain that I won't move to make it work to do things for the relationship, do things for you. I'm a, a kind of old fashioned, I'm a cook your meal, run your bath water, bring you your plate, you know, type of woman. I'm, I'm very, very loyal, very present, very attentive. Um, I'm honest as they come, sometimes too honest. <laughs> you know, I'm not a cheater. I, I, don't, I don't believe in well, cheating, so. I wanna ask you that because that's the assumption that people are making when you said that your marriage ended because of your fault, people are assuming that you cheated. Well, so do you want to confirm? No, cheating is not the only reason that relationships don't work. No, and that's not this is true. This, hold on, hold on. This is true. But, and I guess you don't have to answer because it's kind of invasive. But the question is, did you cheat? To be clear, I did not, not cheat. Okay. I didn't step okay. out of my, my marriage. No, I did not. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Thank you for clearing that up. But now, continue what you were going to say. Um, what else? Is that, that the only reason relationship ends? Oh, yeah. That's, it's a lot of reasons relationship ends. I know people put a lot of, you know, spotlight on cheating. And, you know, cheating is a deal breaker for a lot of people. But that wasn't the reason. So, I'm not, I'm not a... Okay. Well, listen, everyone loves your transparency. Everyone loves your honesty. And everyone loves that, that you are a woman who's willing to take accountability. So, let's get into it. Are you on the Kendra G Singles Dating app? Um, I was actually downloading it right when you added me. Okay, so well, let's I'm do this. Let me go to it. You can have, Laura is going to be for sure taken. What, um, do you have a nickname that, that you want to make your username? Yes. Yeah, so, oh, it's going to be All right, I think that's pretty much. Name. So go to the, the Kendra G Single Dating app. And the, that is the end of the interview. Um, I, I like her, man. I like her transparency. Um. She seems like a person, man. Look, man, you know, people make mistakes in life. Sometimes you leave relationships when you shouldn't have left them. You can't learn nothing in life until after you done did what you did. And that's just, <laughs> that's just how life works, man. She seems like a great person to me, man. Um, seems like she listened, she learned, and she got the help that she needed. And now she's um, ready to get out there and date again, you know. Um, she ain't talked no crap about her ex. She took accountability um she was able to say her flaws and um i know a lot of people is thinking like oh she must have stepped out on her marriage but i was listening like really listening to what she was saying and it just seemed to me like you know i don't know why everybody think oh you had to cheat for a relationship to end sometimes people just outgrow their partner they get bored you know life you know, you get married and, and, and you're living a life with somebody, it's easy for it to get born. You know, you kind of, you just, you go to work, you come home, you get the kids, you do the homework, you feed them. And then by the time you feed them, 
it's time to go to bed and then you wake up and you do it all over again and life is so wicked right because a lot of times like especially with the cost of living rising a lot of times between work and 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 your kids going to school and all your responsibilities you don't even get that much time to spend with your partner and your family and your kids and you don't really get to um you know, it's it's just easy, man, to um, outgrow somebody sometimes to get bored and stuff. And it just seemed like she just, you know, maybe outgrew her partner and she left. And maybe she regrets it. Maybe she don't. But um, I I like her. I, I like somebody that's honest. That's just me. I think that's the most important thing. Be loyal. Don't be no cheater. Be transparent. Be honest. And to me. That's the makings of a great foundation for a um, a good relationship, even if it don't turn to a relationship, a great uh, friendship. So I hope she finds love and and everything. So anyway, appreciate all you had came in here. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Share. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. I appreciate you all. Risky out. Risky behavior.